Mr. Speaker, before I comment, I'd like to <clears throat> do two things. One, to ex express my sincere condolences on the death of a member of the medical fraternity who, is, who died this morning in very suspicious circumstances. Secondly, I'd like to wish all musicians a happy St. Cecilia's Day. <coughs> this morning I had the, the pleasure to listen to the St. Lucia Police Band and they are the, at their vintage best and I hope during this year's budget we can do something to improve the situation. They are in dire need of facilities, etc. We hope we can assist them during this year's budget. Mr. Speaker, the long-standing issue of termination benefits to Majestic Industries and LIAT 1974 limited workers will be settled. And I'm reading... <coughs> And I'm reading from the budget address, which I delivered on 26 April 2022. Mr. Speaker, you may recall, about 30 years ago, the owners of Majestic Industries, a garment manufacturing operation at BZ, left St. Lucia owing, owing workers termination payments. My administration will honor this long-standing payment to Majestic Industries for the issuing of government bonds which have been accepted by the representative of the workers. You may wish to note that this is another commitment made by the former Prime Minister which remained unsettled and left now for this administration to honour. Mr. Speaker, the government has also entered into a similar arrangement with the non-management LIAT workers who were terminated by the closure of the company in 2020. We are currently in discussions with the former management staff, including pilots, to arrive at an acceptable settlement. Mr. Speaker, our decision to settle these outstanding payments is yet another demonstration of our continued commitment to the upliftment of the welfare of the workers of St. Lucia. And Mr. Speaker, after discussions with the representatives of the workers and represent the, the National Workers Union who, represent, who represented the workers and the non-unionized and unionized workers at LIAT, cabinet yesterday endorsed the following. Payment of outstanding termination benefits totaling $4,436,578.16 to ex-employees of LIAT 1974 Limited, according to the approved list. <coughs> that the Attorney General's Chambers engages the lawyers representing the National Workers' Union with regard to the formation of a special purpose vehicle to facilitate payments totaling $1,960,000 to ex-employees of Majestic Industries. That the Department of Finance facilitates payments for the issuance of St. Lucia government bonds. That the bonds issued be considered as full and final settlement of termination benefits to the ex-employees of LIAT 1974 Limited and Majestic Industries Limited. The Attorney General to ensure that upon receipt of the bonds, that the appropriate arrangements are made to, to indemnify the government of St. Lucia from any further payments or claims related thereto by the ex-employees of LIAT 1974 Limited and Majestic Industries Limited. That the Attorney General's chambers assess and provide feedback to Cabinet with respect to the status of the building belonging to the Majestic Industries Limited situa situated at BZ in the quarter of Castries. Mr. Speaker, I'm sure that the workers at Majestic Industries, who for more than 20 years have languished, hoping that someday 
they will be paid, have realized now that they have a, a government that is truly interested in the welfare of people and the welfare of the workers of this country. And Mr. Speaker, the situation relating to LIAT is a fundamental principle that we had to be faithful to. Because, Mr. Speaker, LIAT has been criticized vehemently. LIAT has been put under the has been put under all sorts of criticisms. But Mr. Speaker, right now, it's easier to go to Barbados or Antigua. It is easier to go from Miami and get to Barbados, from Miami and get to Antigua, than it is to go to Antigua directly because of the absence of the acts. So Mr. Speaker, this move by the government is to give confidence to the workers of Liat that even though they have been attacked and brutalized, sometimes due to mistakes that they've made, but they've never been appreciated. And, I'm, and I want to say clearly, Mr. Speaker, that the former Prime Minister had absolutely no appreciation for Liat. Absolutely no appreciation for Liat, Mr. Speaker. Whereas, it was important for him to subsidize international airlines. And nothing wrong with that. He had to do it for the tourism industry. When it came to Liat, he's on record as saying not one cent will the government of St. Lucia ever, ever invest in Liat. This government, Mr. Speaker, we are going to work with the other governments in the OECS and the region and Barbados to ensure that some form of Liat gets back into the Because the region cannot survive without Liat, Mr. Speaker. Liat is a public good. And whereas the former Prime Minister was always looked for excuses why we could not support Liat, we are showing that this good faith by showing the workers in the acts that we appreciated what they did and that is why we are paying them their termination benefits. Mr. Speaker, I want to thank the workers of the acts for their patience, but also, most importantly, the workers at Majestic Industries because these are single mothers. We talk about single mothers all the time, but these are single mothers who are unscrupulous Investor left them without the termination, the severance pay and the termination benefits. But this government, we are finding the resources to pay these workers, truly putting people first and truly putting the workers as energy first. This and that is why we honored the civil servants' salary increases, the public service salary increases, and that is why. On, in December, we are going to pay the public servants their back pay as we promised. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, I also want, I want to thank the workers for their patience. I want to also want to thank the National Workers' Union because the National Workers' Union were very, very patient. I must thank them for that, Mr. Speaker. There are a number of letters that they, they, they received, Mr. Speaker, promising all kinds of things. The land that Ville Hotel belonging to the company should be sold. Proceeds from the sale should be used to compensate the workers. 150 of the former employees are prepared to accept $10,000 each as an ex gracia payment in lieu of severance. Notice to be on vacational entitlements to bring closure to, to, to this matter. That was a letter, one of the letters of July 16, 2020, signed by the former Prime Minister. Written to the, the National Workers Union, July 16, 2020. Up, up to today. One year later, July 2021, nothing. Mr. Speaker, so I want to thank the workers, and there are many other letters, Mr. Speaker, which I will not but put in this statement. So I want to thank the, the union for their patience, Mr. Speaker. I want to thank the staff or the Ministry of Labor for working diligently with the workers 
to ensure that the calculations are correct as we well. Led by the minister. I also want to, want to thank Mr. Speaker and again the LIAT workers. So Mr. Speaker, I'm sure that the Ministry of Finance will make it possible to get the bonds to these workers by Christmas. And because of the confidence in this government, these bonds will surely be sold as soon as they are received by the workers, Mr. Speaker. These bonds are surely going to be sold and the workers will have a good Christmas. So coupled with the, the, the money that they sell the bonds for, the majestic workers and the liat workers, coupled to the fact that the civil servants will get their back pay, and coupled to the fact that there's, there's a general upswing in economic activity in the country, we'll have a Merry Christmas. I thank you.